What inspired me to become a YouTuber and make videos? I don't know. I, I like video games. And what I've watched Let's Players, and it seemed like a fun thing to do. So I did it. And I enjoy it. Not much else. Sub-level 5 of the Snagret Hole. This is definitely not the final floor. Oh! That's right. <laughs> There's an enemy over there with its own whistle that causes our treasure detector to go haywire. Smear him! And there we go. That fixes our treasure detector, and we get a whistle as a prize. I can't remember what that enemy's named, but I call him the Whistle Bug. <laughs> yeah. I wish this actually gave you a special upgrade to your whistle, but nah, this is just an ordinary old treasure whistle. Seventy-five Pocos. Tweet, tweet. The Emperor Whistle. <laughs> what makes that fit for an Emperor? <laughs> I would like to know. Oh boy! We are past 90% of the debt completed. That's amazing. Ah! That's really good! <laughs> Double bitter sprays! Yes! Oh, that's really gonna help. I anticipate fully we're gonna need at least one bitter spray for the boss. Hi! I was waiting for you that time. Ah! That is not okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Omar is in danger. Oh, I see how we... How, I see how we're doing this. This is just dwarf orange bulb orbs fall from the sky, the sub-level. they brought that back safe and sound. <laughs> what psychic power will we crystallize today? For 120, it's the crystallized clairvoyance. Ooh. Oh! That was the last treasure. I would rather you not carry that back. Just in case you run into some enemies along the way. Speaking of which, how many other orange bull warps will fall from the sky? Oh, how cheeky. Uh-oh. Well, not really an uh-oh, but that's actually good. I'm not going to bother duplicating that. I have plenty, and that would be a little dangerous to duplicate it. All right. Well, that was great. We got a couple of sprays, got all the treasure, no casualties. How much of the Super Smash Bros. games have I played? I've played every Smash Bros. game, even the 3DS one. Love that series. It's just not one that I've ever really wanted to let's play. Snakeret Hole, sub-level 6. I don't think this is the boss floor. I think I see a lot of rivers. Nope, this is not the boss floor. This is why we brought White Pikmin. Destroy those poison filters. Alright, let's swap over to Louie. There's another whistle bug around here somewhere. Uh, those candy pop buds are normally really useful, but not in a no deaths run. 
Those candy pop buds basically exist like, oh, have, have, a come, have some of your Pikmin died? Just throw your Pikmin in here and you'll get more. Yeah, I, I'd say I'm not doing too bad. I've had to reset, I think, three times? Two or three times in the snake hole? I was fully expecting that to happen. I'm... Yeah! I'm at the point where... No, you do not get to run and fight him. Okay. I need to get rid of my Leaf Pikmin. Especially my Purple Leaf Pikmin. Alright, cool. My Leaf Pikmin are liabilities against the Burrowing Snagret. Nope! Nope! There we go. Okay, get out, get out of the way, get out of the way. Not enough of them swarmed onto his head, otherwise he'd be dead. How the he- oh, I'm like, how the heck did my Leaf Pikmin get back in here? They didn't, he just removed the flowers of more of my Pikmin. He's gone! He's history! <laughs> no, nope, no, no rage-inducing moments yet. It's not to say they're not gonna come, but, uh, I am trying to control my rage more. At this point, I'm fully expecting basically every sub-level I'll need to reset. But I'm just... At first I thought I heard the sound of a Pikmin be going, Aah! But no, I think that was just the weird uh, radar going haywire. 60 Pokos for the triple sugar threat. <laughs> dongo, 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 daikazaku. <laughs> Alright. Looks like the whistle boy is through the water. Maybe? Oh, this screams there's going to be another snake in the middle of here. Oh, okay, or... Or a dwarf orange bull orb. Wow, that, that guy had a treasure. That surprises me. Oh, wow, there's treasure all over the place. I knew it! No! on his face. Are you kidding me? How many Pikmin do I have to throw on his face for him to die? Good lord. Also, it would not let me select my purple Pikmin. <laughs> nah, nah. Well, that was annoying, because he popped up and my Pikmin were just like, Attack him! Attack him! Even though I was trying to pull them back. Ah, uh, well, that happens. Again, I was expecting I would have to reset that sub-level. Snagret Hole, sub-level 6. Okay. Maybe I should try to take out the, uh, Whistle Spider first. Because I think if we take out Whistle Spider, it'll kind of let us know when we're getting near a Snagret. Because I think both of the snagrets on this sub-level will hold treasures. So we can use the radar to basically detect- Oh, hey! It's flashing. Probably- okay. So there's the first one. Cool, cool, cool. Feed him. Start taking down the poison barrier. Beautiful. 
This is also where I wish I could see a little fiber in the dark. Okay. Swarm his face. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, so he doesn't have a prize for us. Because he's a cheapskate. We'll take him back. We'll take the whistle bug back. There we go. Alright, the ever snagret should have the prize, though. So we'll keep an eye on our treasure radar. See, and if it starts blinking, I'll know. Oh, interesting. I think I'll throw some yellow pigment in here. Yeah, so Monday and Wednesday streams are at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturday streams start at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bit earlier because, well, I like streaming Saturday afternoon, whereas weekdays I have to stream in the evening or I don't stream at all. Okay. See, the radar is peeking over here, so I'm fully expecting a snagger to pop up. Nope, it's this guy. There you go, bring those back. So there's actually quite a few treasures on this sub-level. Because after this thing, we still have the flat plastic locket thing, as well as the ball of dongo. Ooh! The stupendous lens. That's literally like the magnifying glass I have on my pocket knife. Now, there's a formal name for it, but I don't remember. I hope we can find some nectar soon. Okay, this next room definitely is having the snagret. There we go. There he is, and he has the dongo. Is there going to be another snagret? Maybe not. Carry that back. You'll be quick about it. Esh Sergeant Salamander, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> You're in time for, well, the probably the stupidest challenges I've attempted here. Pikmin 2, no Pikmin deaths. <laughs> if you know anything about Pikmin 2, you know that's going to be a tough thing to do. <laughs> and it's also a great honor to have a sergeant here in my Twitch chat, so thank you for that. <laughs> Oh boy, four leaf clover, twenty pokos. The science project? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do I want to know why they called it that? <laughs> so, so little Jimmy, what did you make for your science project? Ah, four leaf clover. It's like that's not something you make. Ah, no, <laughs> four leaf clover, my science project. <laughs> All right, then here comes the dongo, and then a lid of some kind. Is the oh, is this the lid off of the tuna? Oh no, Dannon, fruit on the bottom. Same, great taste. The sal saliva tricks. Well, alright then. No, we get the tuna some other time. And then here are the dongo. The big, they should have called this the big dongo family. 60 bogos. But it's the triple sugar fret. <laughs> That's another good name as well. Oh, there we go. That's all the treasure. Alright, I don't care about that candy pop bud or the other candy pop bud. We already went back there. No, 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 no. I, I That was a joke. 
I mean, for all I know, maybe you are a sergeant in real life, but I assume that was just part of your username. It's like, I'm not actually colorful in real life, either. It's just part of the name. Okay, I, I really need to find some nectar. Because, doggone it, those, those purple leaf pigmen are going to really make the boss fight annoying. <laughs> so you're not a sergeant, but are you an actual salamander? Because that also could... If, if you're a salamander who has become sentient and can type on the internet, that would also be pretty cool. Okay, this is the boss floor. <laughs> Snake Red Hole sub-level 7. This is definitely the boss floor. Yep. Alright, well, this is either going to go really well, or really badly. No real in-betweens. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We will definitely be using a, uh... Sp uh, spicy spray for this fight. We're gonna need it. And we have 14 to them. Oh boy, this is... I don't really know how this fight's gonna go. Like, this could end up being really easy, or it could end up being incredibly difficult. I'm leaning more towards the latter, though. <laughs> Alright. Yep, here we go. Boss of the Snagret Hole, the Pileated Snagret. It's a Snagret, but he has a foot, so he can hop around. Yes, okay, cool. I don't know why when I swarm him, they're not going on his head. Like, when he gets stuck, they're supposed to go on his head when we swarm. Ah! Okay, yeah, this guy's gonna be tough, because he has a lot of HP. Well, it's gonna be hard to do him safely, I guess is a better way to put it. Please leave my Pikmin alone. Also, he's not going back. There we go. Now he's going back underground. Nope. Oh, I love how fast the Pikmin are when they're spicified. If I ha if I have to use all my spicy sprays on this, I will. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Dive back underground. No, oh, dog on it. Nope. No. Problem is when you petrify them. Like when you petrify them with the bitter spray, it becomes a they become a lot more defensive. Like it's really hard to do inflict damage. No, oh, dog on it. He ate one. <sighs> Yeah, burrowing snakeret, this ain't. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome! <laughs> yeah, you're just in time for the fight against the Pileated Snagret. <laughs> Not fun, this guy has a ton of HP. I will probably have to burn through... <laughs> get it. Burn through a lot of uh, Ultra Spicy Sprays for this. That's okay. This is the final floor, and once we're done with this, we are done with Awakening Wood forever. Unless we want to go back to grind up us spicy sprays. Okay, there's one leaf pigment still here. No, there's two. One of them is a blue pigment. Is one of them a purple pigment? Yeah, some of the... I feel like half the bosses in Pikmin 2, like, aren't that bad to do no deaths, and then the other half are like, <laughs> get ready to lose. Okay. Strategy for this guy. When he put, comes out and starts hopping around, just get away. Until he uh, dives underground again. There we go. 
But again, that's the problem, because even when we catch him off guard, we don't do very much damage to him. Because, like, we swarm him, but they don't go on his head like they're supposed to. Like, I'm trying to swarm his head so that they all go on his head, and he takes way more damage when you swarm his head. Are you kidding me?! Doggone it, that Pikmin was so slow! He had, like, five seconds to run away, and he didn't. Or, no, he did, but he was just so slow, it didn't make a difference. Wow. Oh, nice! That's awesome, Nintendo Addict. Well, yeah, if you can run BizHog, I would definitely be down for Ocarina randomizers. For sure. Hmm, man. <laughs> This is so tough. Because... Hmm. I think what I was doing... was the right thing to do, with, like, waiting till he gets stuck to swarm him. That just doesn't deal nearly as much damage as I would like it to. So, it's like, I feel like this fight's just gonna take an eternity. Oh, great. That one white Pikmin wasn't around. He tripped and didn't get the spicy spray. It doesn't help that he, like, s spreads your Pikmin really far apart. So it's tough. <laughs> I'm definitely glad I got the whistle upgrade. Yeah, this this was one of the bosses I was most worried about. I didn't know if like it's like oh spicy spray you swarm his head he just dies really quickly. No, he doesn't. Yeah, without spicy sprays, you just wouldn't be able to do anything to this guy. I, well, at least, I think you would literally have to leave your purple Pikmin away. Wait, look at this. I've used free spicy sprays, and he's only halfway dead. This is crazy. <laughs> Excuse me, you're getting a little close. There we go. Oh no. That was annoying. I wasted a bitter spray on him. Well, he's dead. I had to use most of my sprays, but he's dead. That's annoying. I thought if you bitter sprayed him while he was petrified, it would reset the petrification. It didn't. So I effectively wasted a bitter spray that fight. You've done it. That bird beast will trouble you no more. Processing. How curious. What's that impressive mechan mechanized masterpiece? Yeesh. You just purple stunned him most of the time? The problem is, purple stun is random and inconsistent. Like, I threw a whole bunch of purples on a uh, cannon larva earlier in this uh, cave, and he didn't get stunned. I threw like 20 of them on his back, and not, not one of them stunned him. 
my guys are freaking out. Oh, look! <laughs> it's Megatron. The Justice Alloy. I've been waiting for this upgrade. Bzzzt. Does not compute a metal this dense defies the fundamental laws of physics. And yet, if I use this to rework our president's treasured spacesuit, processing complete fabrication of the metal suit Z is now concluded. This suit is extremely durable. Getting gnawed or stepped on will now produce minimal pain. This now means Olmar and Louie will take way less damage than they used to. Yay! Oh, that's good. And the annoying thing, folks, is uh, that's not the last we're going to see of that boss. We will have to fight him again, and he'll be a lot harder. Alright, a good amount of... Ugh. It's always the purples. Alright, there we go. That's good. Do, do, do. We have almost repaid our debt. But not quite. There are a lot of eggs on this floor. I guess it makes sense, because we just fought a bunch of birds. You know, I would have loved one of those to have a bitter spray inside <laughs> to make up for some of the ones that I lost. I cannot say I have I have not watched uh, Springtime with Rue. I've heard of it. It's like supposed to be the East like Christmas Carol, but with Easter, from what I understand. Interesting premise. I think VeggieTales did the same thing. job. <laughs> Did you lose any Pikmin? Only in other timelines, but not in the prime timeline. Alright, let, let's get out of the Snakeret Hole. We've spent enough time here. Haven't seen it, so I can't comment on it. Justice Alloy meets Satchel, all that stuff. Woohoo! Dane, over a thousand Pokos. Cave complete! And that should finish off Awakening Wood completely, and we'll never have to go back. Hooray! I mean, not hooray, because that's still by far the easiest world in this game, so. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Ninety percent of debt recovered. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, hey, and there's still a little bit of time left in the day, so uh, we're definitely going to grind up some. Oh, we can't. All right. Well, hang on. Okay. Yep. That's everything in Awakening Wood. Well, let's just go to Sunset then. Go to Sunset. I do not know anything about that. No. Not one I'm going to be seeing. <laughs> we have officially robbed everything of value from the Awakening Wood. It is now a barren wasteland. Today's report! <laughs> Oh my gosh. We got almost 3,000 Poco. Almost 30% of the debt in this one in-game day. Even though our <laughs> red, yellow, and blue counts all went down, our white and purple counts went up. So, we didn't actually lose any pigment. We just changed their colors. Olimar, you'll soon be promoted to manager. Only a small bit of debt remains. You've done great, as have I. No one dodges debt collectors like I do. I'm a pro. <laughs> so.
save. Yeah, Bizhawk can be a little annoying to get running properly. <laughs> 